destroying lives and destroying families and has ranked Indiana as the worst in the nation for one very dangerous crime. We are talking about prescription drug abuse and what has become a key part of the crisis of violence in our community. And that's where we begin at five with an addiction problem that is getting worse by the day. In fact, Indianapolis leads the nation in the number of pharmacy robberies, all helping feed a deadly habit. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt has been digging into this issue, and he joins us live with details. Jack? Well, Erica, any way you look at the numbers, they aren't good. As a city and as a state, it only means more crime, more broken families, and more broken individuals. A prescription for danger. Another pharmacist staring down the barrel of an armed suspect demanding strong opiate-based painkillers. And for three consecutive years, Indiana has led the nation in pharmacy robberies. In 2012, the state had 97 drugstore robberies, more than twice the number of the next two leading states. Even worse, the city of Indianapolis led the nation in armed robberies. People, it seems, will resort to any means necessary to feed their addictions. People go to great lengths in order to come up with these drugs. Lying, cheating, not only lying, cheating to pharmacies, doctors, nurse practitioners, uh, LPNs, nurses, family members, us, yeah, we get lied to, uh, but anything to get that fix. In the past two years, the caseload of the police department's prescription fraud unit has skyrocketed more than 30 percent, a number driven, police say, by people like Michael Biggers, now on his way to prison after six convictions for drug fraud. At one time, Jeff Feinland found himself in the same fix. Um, yeah, I revert, reverted to doing no less than what somebody would do if they were on heroin or anything else. Uh, just because it was prescription doesn't mean it wasn't a drug, and I was addicted to it. So I would have done just about anything to get them at that time. Painkillers have become more potent, more addicting, and more lethal. In the past 15 years, the number of overdose deaths in Indiana has quadrupled. And living with addiction isn't without its own pain either. People who are addicted, you know, get involved in crime. They see work productivity going down, down the drain. Um, they have family problems, financial issues, all types of, of problems that just kind of fall out as the after effect of addiction that's taken hold. Jeff Feinlin is proof that people can break the hold on prescription drugs. Hope and help is there for people who ask for it. There's people that can help you. Uh, don't sit there and, st and stay in it. You're gonna, it. There's only two ways you'll end up, and that's either dead or in jail. Unfortunately, there are no quick fixes. Recovery is slow, expensive, and ongoing. And while we as a society want to view addicted people in the context of somebody struggling with disease, at the same time, society views them as criminals deserving of prosecution. Reporting live, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.